Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the Blood Angel's special character, Dante. Here's what he's going to look like all done. Um, as you can see, I've done a little bit of a scenic base on there, just to make him look a little bit better, but otherwise, it's pretty much straight from the book. So, uh, to start out, I used a, a mix here, 50-50, of Scorched Brown and Dwarf Bronze. Paint that all over his armor. And, uh, yeah, it was able to be a bit sloppy with that, so I got everything a little bit everywhere else too. And as you can see I used a white base uh, spray paint here which I don't normally do. Um, the other thing, just I mentioned this here, what it is is a piece of uh, wine bottle cork and uh, I put a pin through his foot here and right through the base. It's a piece of paper clip and super glued it all down to make sure it'd be nice and stable. Um, normally he comes on a base that would be up here and I just thought this would look a little bit more dramatic. Partly because he's going to be going with my sanguinary guard and uh, they have a bit more uh, dynamic pose. So yeah, there's all around, so it's just a metallic brown kind of a base coat. Okay, then for the highlight, I kind of did an overbrushing sort of a layer here. So I did uh, shining gold and then burnished gold. So you can see they're just uh, painting up all the layers. Uh, try to get me going there. Uh, some of these things I did highlight will end up being different colors, but um, it's just to keep things going fast. And like I said, kind of like a dry brush, overbrush sort of a method here. Um, I figured that'll be most effective. Okay, and uh, it's, yeah, so this is just a bit more highlighting. Hard to tell the difference, so I'm not really going to explain it. Okay, so then in this stage here, I've put base colors down for everything. So I've got uh, gray on anything that's going to be gray or whitish. Um, I've got my Kemri brown on my scrolls. You'll see that around a couple places. Uh, bolt gun metal, chaos black, and scab red on anything that's going to be red. And actually, in here is going to be red as well, but I missed that. Okay, so he's got yeah these wings here. These are all just gray and the same gray on the base. Okay, so that's just your basics. And uh, now I'm just going along with washes. So um, red, bow red for red. Devil and Mud for uh, some of the touch-ups on the gold and Bad Eye Black on basically everything else. Oh, yeah, Devil and Mud was on these scrolls, that's right, and these little pouches. And that's about it. Uh, pretty straightforward, that one. And now we get into the complicated stuff. Okay, so um, Chainmail, that's for the uh, anything that was the metals. Uh, Blood Red is in here and uh, on the other, the back side of the other one. Um, these purples here, that's what I used for these scrolls and this handle. Uh, just to give it a bit of a different than a blood red. Oh yeah, the blood red also is on these uh, gemstones and that's a bit of a different technique. Um, I used probably a bit of orange there and a little white dot. The green, uh, that's just on the laurel there. And uh, this here, this gray combination is what was put on all of these uh, gray bits here, and there's a couple little wings on his legs there. Stone uh, on there, and this uh, true blue triad up there. So pretty straightforward, and I'm just layering on the highlights here. As you can see, as I go around, you kind of see the um, how, how those fit in together. And uh, as with anything, once you've done the base coats, um, I find that the last bits here just fly by, partly because they're more interesting, uh, but also because they're uh, you're dealing with small areas that the paint goes on real quick. Oh, yeah, and for these scrolls here, that'd be a little scorched brown to draw on there. Okay, and uh, I don't know if there's that much difference in this one here, but uh, this is the final look. So I did touch up a little couple areas on the gold. You can see just sort of edge highlights there, a little bit of mithril silver. And uh, as well, I accentuated these details here. They kind of didn't come out in the mold. And uh, this is actually an older metal model, so he's quite top heavy. But uh, if you were to do this with fine cast, um, probably wouldn't be a problem at all. And one last go around here. Okay. 
a little bit of free hand there on a shoulder pad. And that's uh, Captain Dante. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check back again for more.